I see um, BIM as a more business value. So how we can increase value of the business and which means that you will increase the performance of the individuals. You will deliver the higher quality. You will have a better visualization setup and you deliver, you know, like um, you communicate more efficiently with the stakeholders internally as well as with the clients. So I see this as more business value. So when you think about Revit, number one thing, forget about Revit, zoom out and think about BIM mm -hmm. and try to give the mindset of the BIM, try to understand the mindset of BIM. Because if you are solely using Revit, you will just use a one tool, which you eliminate the big power and the major power of, you know, mm -hmm. like BIM. And mm -hmm. if you have a BIM mindset and then you use Revit, you will be surprised how powerful it gets rather mm -hmm. than you having a just CAD mindset, traditional workflow mindset. And then you say, oh, I want to have, you know, um, you know, like CAD. So I want to have BIM in place and Revit in place. And I use um, with the traditional workflow um, methods uh, Revit, which is doesn't, which really doesn't work. Second thing mm -hmm. I would say, forget about collaborating CAD and Revit, stick mm -hmm. to Revit. And how do you do that? Yeah. What I suggest generally, uh, as uh, Nicolas said, add a BIM champion into their team, but cluster it. Don't, if you having have, for example, in his case, he had a 20 people or 25 people, a team, um, don't put a BIM BIM champion on the 25 people, but cluster the people with their open mindset and the BIM champion together with them and mm -hmm. let them stick only Revit for mm -hmm. uh, one project case. They can mm -hmm. still use AutoCAD on a few other projects, maybe with other colleagues, but at least one project, only those people are collaborating and they are collaborating in a Revit environment only together with the BIM champion. They're trying to solve the issues and so forth. This way it will uh, spike curiosity most probably mm -hmm. within the other colleagues and also you can see that these colleagues are learning much much faster because they are concentrating on, mm -hmm. uh, on a single project and last thing i would suggest like also nicolas mentioned about it um don't take um bim champion or if you have especially bim manager don't take him as a like a bim don't treat him like a bim technician try to take him to the management team so he mm -hmm. brings more value to the business with the decisions mm -hmm. with the with the approach and so forth because if he doesn't understand the business and business goals he will solely focus on the tools and what tools can make but if he understands the business and what we are trying to get how the main uh, pain points we are having from the business point of view and then he's also understanding the, from the user point of view he can really tailor right solutions into the company i think that is the three points that i would say what do you think on these points nicolas yeah i agree and i'm happy you mentioned on especially your first point about bim for more management and or business really understanding them I, I do agree it's a, it's a big issue um because business, a lot of business owners don't really understand what BIM can do for them. To them, is it's just, you know, we're using CAD and then we're using a new software. And there's this process that they don't understand that much. Uh, but to really understand what BIM can do for you and what uses of model you want to do, are you going to do, uh, use the BIM models for renderings, for a solar analysis? So what are your goals? What are you actually going to do uh, with these tools? So really think about these questions. Also, think having a list of all your employees and uh, the, their level when it comes to uh, BIM uh, software and to identify, you know, I've mentioned about one BIM champion, but ideally would also have what you call them sub champions, I guess, <laughs> that you can identify and that can also support the, the main BIM manager, BIM coordinate, coordinators, I guess you could call them, or just, you know, anyone who's really interested in that. So, yeah, understanding BIM. Understand, Think BIM from a business point of view, and and yeah, from a, yeah, including the BIM managers or anyone on a high BIM level on the management team. It's it's sad because often you see these really good BIM practitioners, but they they don't get quite to associate levels on some firms. I think it's starting to change, you know. Because uh, management has to realize that BIM is not just managing layers anymore and setting line weights. It's much more than that. It's really important. If you like this video and more videos like this, subscribe to our channel because there will be many more. And don't forget to turn the notification bell on.